All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Rogue Legacy, or welcome back to it. I played this game a long time ago, uh, specifically with my little brother, which is really fun. And I really enjoyed having the time to play with him, but that was also like five years ago. Go check the series, I'm sure it's old, and I'm sure it sounds like garbage compared to what I've been doing. But, uh, it's one of those where, like, I've been wanting to play this game again. There's just something about it that made it really cool, but I just never really had a whole lot of reason to do so. And then, two things happened this week. One, Rogue Legacy 2 got announced, I believe, on April Fool's, weirdly enough. Uh, I think it was April Fool's. It might have been... It might have been the day before, it might have been the day after. But, yeah, it was it was announced. And I was like, oh, cool, and it looks really nice. A lot of people are like, oh, it's, it's like a cartoony art style as opposed to a pixel art style. I'm fine with it. It looks quite nice, and I'm a huge fan of uh, Hollow Knight, so it, I don't know. The opportunities that a more cartoony style can afford, I think, are kind of promising. Uh, but the other thing that happened was I found out that there's a mod called the Lament of Zors, which is what we're currently playing. I don't actually know what the difference is. But I figured, I figured I'd give that a go, at least for today. Just to see what the differences are and just kind of return. Ah, uh, let's see, down attack that. But first, gotta get that. Whoops. Oh, it's not quite like Hollow Knight. Eh, whatever, it's gonna throw me off. It's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, let's see. But yeah, just a return for a little bit and signal boost their announcement. Because I really love Cellador's, uh, Cellador games. I love the work that they do. What's up, King? Bye, King! Oh. So there's that. We've got two things on the right side that both require right trigger. I'm assuming the purple one are the mod credits. Nothing's changed on the, uh... Nothing has changed on the rest of this, though. Uh, zero... Oh, is that the seed? Zero W, zero S, zero G. I actually have no idea. Okay, whatever. Should be fine. So, no, the zero G does not involve gold. Treason, assassins wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter a castle, Hempson. Cursed castle stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item that will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get my get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. There we go. Oh right, this game has contact damage. Wow. I Am I supposed to be doing this much damage? I feel weirdly strong. For confusing reasons. Okay. Gotta get rid of the eyeballs. Oh, there's no, there's no dodge. There's no dash. Oh, that's gonna throw me off. I think I'm actually stuck. Oh, wait, no, I can't go up, back up here. I have better better jumps than I thought I did. I got some hoops. I'm being very generous with the mana. I'm really curious what the differences are between Lament of Zors and regular uh, Rogue Legacy. Because, unfortunately, I didn't actually look that up. Uh, I was just like, yeah, let's just play some Rogue Legacy. And then it just gave me the pop-up for... The Lament of Zors, with no, like, preamble or anything else. It's just, whoops. Okay, let's not do that. I don't think I... I don't think I can dodge that well. Well, defeat all enemies, that ain't happening. Uh, let's see, and I'm probably gonna die before I make it anywhere meaningful. But that's honestly kind of standard for this game. Let's see. Ugh. Alright, let's go up. Now, if I remember right, there are secrets that I should probably keep an eye out for, but I, boy, finding them is rough. Oops. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead. Okay. I have 7 HP. That's not, that's not the best place to be, but 160 gold is some amount. Hey. That's not as much healing as I was expecting there, but that's okay, it's fine.
There we go. Okay, fear the missiles. Fear these things. Why do I do so much damage? I do not remember. Ah, there I go. Sir Lee has been slain by a guard box. And what do we got? So, Johannes, legendary knight. Sir Lee, the gallant knight. So we can have a mage. We can have a dwarf hypochondriac mage. Or just regular knight. Can't see in 3D, though. Summon blade ball. Scythe. Eh, let's go with the dwarf hypochondriac. Let's go with that. Hmm. Your damage goes up as you take damage. I don't remember that feature. Okay, so we have a full changes list. Let's take a look at this. So four new ba bosses have been added to the game. Three new boss remixes have been added to the game. Three new areas have been added. All areas are larger. After beating the boss of an area, you always have access to the teleport of the next area. New game plus progression scales exponentially instead of linearly. E. But then again... Stat boost effects scale with New Game Plus. That's good, at least. Many bosses can spawn in the castle. Enemies are randomized between Tier 2 and Tier 3, instead of always Tier 3 at high room levels. Difference in enemy strength between areas is based off of ratio, not castle size. Alzheimer's got removed. Ac Acrophobia has been added. You can take fall damage. The ribs throw three bones instead of nine. That's reasonable. Spike balls can be knocked around. Spike balls get a redder shade the closer they are to exploding. Blueprints can be found multiple times, increasing plus one, two... And raising their weight and stats after a purchase. Ooh. Dark Chest has a 0 health, 70 armor instead of 50 health, 0 armor. Gold and stat drops are automatically collected. Stat boosts can be purchased from the Enchantress after all runes have been bought. Player level increases with stat boosts. Mini bosses drop stat boosts. Spellcasting costs increase the more magic damage you deal. Siphon scales with spellcasting costs. Siphon and vampirism scale exponentially instead of linearly. Karen's of Obel turn regular chests into silver chests and silver chests into gold chests. Curse runes increase enemy strength exponentially instead of linearly. Hedgehog's curse makes you take double damage but gold gain is doubled. New chest type has been added. Oh man. This is a lot. Uh, it's a lot-ish. Okay. Silver chests drop more gold than regular chests. Elf game does not scale exponentially off your gold anymore. Haggle upgrade reduces the architect fee instead of Karen's fee. Hmm. Passive gold bonus manor upgrade goes up to level 15, so it's just level 5. Liches gain EVP when killing enemies, increasing all stats but armor. Liches can sacrifice EVP for healing. Lich stats do not get reset after finishing a new game. Splunkers and miners drop gold from breakables. Splunkers gain gold from exploring. Splunkers turn regular chests into silver chests. Silver chests into gold chests. Miners and splunkers get more gold uh, and faster. Mages absorb damage into mana. Passively regenerate mana from an area up to a point. Mages can cast spells more quickly than other classes, can land crits with their spells, can cast spells at a quarter cost. Assassin sneak cost depends on room level. Assassin crits are deterministic. Knights and paladins deal more damage. The less health they have, that's why. Shinobi and Hokage deal bonus damage based on the remaining enemy health. Hokage can heal past their max health, but this lowers their damage reduction. Barbarians heal whenever they attack something based on the damage the target deals. Crow spell has been removed, and Dragon regenerates eight, uh, MP per second. 12% of max MP per second. Cool. That sounds fun. A lot of this sounds fun. It's a little bit more basic than I thought. I was hoping for some more, like, ridiculous upgrades. But that's still not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we want to upgrade the knight? Yeah, let's just upgrade the knight. And can't afford the rest of this anyway. No, I'm poor. I forgot. Things get more expensive. I'm very small. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day the monsters of the castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever! At a price, of course. All right, so as it stands, we can afford nothing. Onwards! So that's how I cast MP, or cast spells. Okay, pay the toll, spend the money, goodbye. This wizard's got some things to do. 
But it looks like spellcasting got a lot, a lot better than it used to be. Spellcasting, I used to be kind of meh on it. Uh, but the idea of being able to... Oh, balls. There we go. Oh, I didn't actually die there. I'm confused about that. Or, it's less of a dying thing. Okay. There we go. So we have taken some damage, but not too much. Bam. Whoops. MP recovered. Grab that. Oh. Nope. I have no idea. I'm not sure why I'm not visibly taking any damage here. Oops. Avoid the boner men. Now, there is a way to get down to these guys, unless I'm mistaken. I know there's there's this, but that doesn't... that's not anything. I actually have no idea how to get down to these guys. So I'm taking the damage to MP first. Huh. Well, that's pretty damn strong. Oh, balls. You're right, I am. Well, that makes... I am kind of absurd as a result, then. Because I regenerate MP per area. So as long as I get my MP back... Okay, there we go. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like I'm, um... Okay, there we go. So I don't actually gain MP based on... I get it based on kill. That's what it is. Okay. Come at me, you painting! Wow, they... They made mages goofy good. I love it. Okay, so we had chess. Chess has money! Unfortunately, health does not convert into mana, but that's... That's fine. Oh. Okay, got it. Got a little bit of HP back. This guy's a bit spooky, but we're good. All right, got anything interesting around here? No. It looks like that might lead somewhere, but I want to clear this room first. Okay, we're good. This is neat! I... I wish there were more games that actually had, like, overhaul mods like this that kind of address some of the original issues with it in a holistic and interesting fashion. Well, do I want to go this way? Sure. Oh. Nope, we have to go down here? Or, oh, it's just a... it's just a route around. I was hoping there'd be something else. Well, the answer is, now I'm just gonna main wizards. I'm cool with that, though. Now, somebody said you can bounce these around. And you can. Whoops. Ow. Just gotta worry about... Okay, gotta worry about them. Oh, I didn't kill that guy. Exaggeration is a problem. Alright, we good? We're good adjacent. We got a lot of money. Like, we're gonna be- we're gonna be able to get out of here with some goods. Ow! There we go. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure the knights here that we keep fighting, those are actually based uh, largely off of... Or no, uh, the knights were the inspiration for the Gungeon Knights. Hey, blueprint for the knight cape. Could be wrong. Okay, don't really feel like fighting the uh, 
the eyeball boss. Ow. It's a little bit to get used to, but that's okay. Whammo. There we go. And we get the Silver Bracers. Nice. Yeah, yell if you see any midget spots, which sounds really weird to say, but still. Let's see. Can probably murder the eyeball. Maybe. I'm I'm fairly I'm fairly confident, but I'm not that confident. It's also one of those where like this character is kicking a fair bit of ass. Uh so I kind of want to kill the basic kill. I want to beat the basic castle first. And we'll go from there. Let's see is there any character growth mid run? Only for the lich. Not any of the other ones, sadly. Okay, cool. I can hit it there. Ooh. Man, a shield is not... And I'll be all. Yeah, I gotta find I gotta find some more chicken before I do. Ah Turn the other direction. Some control stick dead zones would actually be quite lovely. Okay, so we could get a Barbarian. Break stuff to restore MP. It's not a bad one. We have an Ectomorph. Or a Knave. I think we'll do... Lady Winry. Okay. Let's grab that. I more or less just want to grab everything kind of once. Grab the Enchantress, though. Okay, magic damage up. Upgrade, Mage. Yeah, let's grab that. Mage kicked ass. Grab the Miner. I think that's the quickest I've ever gotten the Miner before. Uh, let's see. Can't get that. Gold gain up would be quite nice. We'll leave that later. For later, though. We can upgrade the Knave. Could get the architect, but I never really locked down the castle ever. And let's exit because I want to actually get a better sword at the very least. Because I don't think we have anything for the enchantress. Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes. And without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them to me, and I'll sell it back to you for a profit. <laughs> Alright, so that's how, I, that's how I get the dash. That's how I get double jump, which is actually really cheap. I'm glad that we start with those. I just have to, you know, save the money. Sword walls? I have a lot of those. Okay, oh, nope. I do actually have enough money for one more upgrade. Hey. Give me that architect. So yeah, let's go for the uh, those two runes and then Splunker slash Gold Gain and just go nuts for cash. I'm curious what they're gonna do with the second game. Okay, so yeah, we can't we can't warp. I I hope they include some of these changes. They're not many, but like I always run into issues with. Boop. I deserve that. I 
I'm just gonna get glamoured. Well, if so, I deserve it. At least I have a little bit of an HP here. A uh, little bit of an HP. I have, a, I have a little bit of HP gain, and that actually accounts for quite a lot. Okay, break that, break that. Nothing else? Excuse me. I would like healing! And the only way to do that is with your flesh. Or your splinters. Some, some of these are a little bit less fleshy than others. That's a bit of an issue. Woo! Ah! Yeah, one problem I run into, I think with this game, or maybe these controllers, but I have dead zone issues. And they throw me off real hard. Uh, let's see. Permaroided. Tax knockback enemies further. Let's go minor. Okay, we made bupkis money-wise, but that's okay. So he's just telling you we have new blueprints. We'll leave those for later. We actually want... Oh, oh, I'm five gold off. That's a pain. Might be able to fix that with the Steam Configurator. Maybe? I... Ugh. That's the kind of tech support sort of thing that I don't want to do in the middle of a stream, though. Um... But yeah, if you notice there, it probably wasn't super obvious, but sometimes I'll, like, try and angle left just for a second. And, uh, the, the snapback on my stick, I think this is more of a problem with the Xbox One, One controllers, but the snapback will actually send me, uh, like, flip me back around, and it's awkward. Some games have very slight dead zones that solve the problem, others not so much so. And, uh, it always throws me off when I'm playing a game and they don't have those dead zones because I'm not ready for it. Yeah, roguelikes really have come a fair distance since, uh, the olden days. Pray for assistance? Heck yeah. We get Hyperion's Ring. I don't remember what that one does. Is that... I honestly don't remember. time limit on this one. The main problem is, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to hit them from here. And I don't see any means to get into that room. Okay. Uh, shoot, I don't even remember what that does. Okay, I'm going to be over here. The statue, get him. Okay, life is good, but I want to go down. Oh. I don't even know how to kill those guys. Whoops. I don't think we can get over there. I guess I could fling the uh, shuriken. Shuriken? Chakar? Chakram? Ah. Things. Oh, you're right. You're right. I can get this one. Let me line it up. So they are... Oh, I don't have enough MP. Damn it. <laughs> Just walked right into that one. Yeah, I totally forgot the... the... Oh. I walked right into it. So that's what the ring does. It's just... Ah. Okay, do we want to do endomorph? I like the idea of going Archmage at least for a little while. Because I don't think my miners are ready yet. Let's just go Archmage, at least for a little while longer. 
No. We need the uh we need the movement tech first. Everything else is secondary. Okay, there we go. So now we can scoot around a little bit more. I'm just going to get the HP. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better. Women had more female proportions, not swaying. Here to be a figure of beauty, but different from the guy somehow. See, I think that's kind of part of the charm that the, um... That the ma- that the- Damn it! Uh, I- I guess I find it kind of amusing that the, uh, the female character models are the same as the dudes with, like, maybe slight boobing. Uh, but other- otherwise it's- it's virtually the same. I realize, like, yeah, it's a little silly, but that's kind of this game. For me, I, I guess the most amusing part is the mages, where the, uh, where the, the mages have a beard, regardless of whether or not they're a, a lady or a dude. As mages should. Yeah, also would be hard to know. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're gonna just leave him alone. It was nice to kill that guy, but uh, I'm gonna get absolutely beasted, damn it. Well, walked right into that one, sort of. Uh, let's see. Dwarven mages are just beards. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Barbarian, barbarian, or barbarian. Gosh. Let's go with this one. Uh, let's see. Raw damage, HP. Let's do the damage, I guess. I am not the strongest here. Well, that's kind of how this game works. It takes a little bit to get used to it. And also, trying to do the risk rooms is not always the most useful. I just remembered I have double jump. I should probably be using that. Because I'm not. And I'm pretty sure it would help. Okay, whoops. I forgot. The the dodge works based on the direction that I'm... Uh, the shoulder that I pull. Damn it. There we go. Oh, what? Oh! I forgot. I have every spell. That's what Savant does. I think that's what I picked. Doesn't mean that I'm going to have to worry about my MP totals just a little bit, but it should be okay. I wonder how, mo how further moddable this game is. Cause it would actually be really neat if you could you could change the um it'd be really neat if you could really like just go in and keep adding new things to the uh to the castle. Cause that was definitely something I kinda ran into with this game is that after a certain point, you have everything except except for statistical increases. And that got a little boring. It was one of those where it's like, I wasn't super excited about... I gotta blow my nose. I wasn't super excited about a lot of the uh, the different characters. Or not characters, uh, 
doing New Game Plus because it was just going to be like, I get slightly stronger every single time. Whew, upgrading the miner is expensive. Uh, let's just keep pumping it into health for at least a little while longer.